Hi guys, my name is Gia, and for those that don't know me, I'm a vegan bodybuilder. Welcome. Uh, I'm not feeling so hot today, so I didn't set up all the lights and all that jazz, and I'm not going to do some crazy editing. I just want to make sure I get my answers to you guys at the time that I promised, so hopefully this video is still okay. Um, I don't, I'm not a professional YouTuber, guys. I don't, I try to post content on a regular enough basis to be helpful for you. But really what I use YouTube for is to post content where I want to share information that's helpful for you or questions that you guys have asked me. And I have a series called Ask Me Anything. And basically I get questions on Instagram Tuesday and Wednesday. I post a story asking for those questions. And then I'll um, upload the video to publish it to you guys on Saturday mornings. I was doing 6 a.m. Pacific time, but now I'm just going to do 8 a.m. Pacific time. And I have to apologize in advance, guys. I have to do a better job of taking proper screenshots of the questions because sometimes they get cut off. Eek. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and get started. And I am going to bypass the questions or the replies where people are just saying, Hey, how are you? Um, or making jokes. I appreciate <laughs> your reply, but I want to keep this uh, these videos as short as possible just so I can get through all the questions and not bore people to death. Um, so first question is from Lou with two U's underscore pole dance. How can you get enough protein daily and not too much carbs while being vegan? Lou, I'll link it down below. Um, I rely, the majority of my protein I get from a thing called wheat gluten. It's the gluten straight up from wheat and it's predominantly mostly protein and a small amount of carbs. Um, one of my the f easiest things for me to do when it comes to gluten is making a, a gluten protein pretzel, which I'll link down below, and you can see it's pretty much all protein. Um, but beyond that, what you have to think about as well, Lou, is um, other sources of, of getting protein like broccoli and beans, etc. Et While those do come with some fat or some carbs, they also do come with some great things, micronutrients, vitamins that actually help you absorb your protein even better. That's another long story, but I won't go down that rabbit hole here. Flow3r.head, how many years are you being vegan and which are the benefits of this lifestyle, your training, etc.? So, um, being vegan, I certainly eat a lot more vitamins and minerals that I didn't eat when I was an omnivore. Uh, that includes things like fiber. And like I'd mentioned, I think because I'm eating all of those vitamins, I actually absorb all of my protein in a far more effective way than I did when I was an omnivore. So it was actually a lot easier for me to gain muscle as a vegan versus an omnivore if that makes sense, because I do firmly believe all those other vitamins and minerals that I was consuming help me with my protein th th synthesis and absorption. Um, as for training, I just feel stronger as a vegan, honestly. I feel like I don't have to take as many supplements that I did when I was uh, not vegan. You know, I didn't feel like I had to rely on BCA powders all the time. Didn't ha I don't have to rely on pre-workout um you know, supplements all the time. Um, in fact, right now, I don't really take pre-workout. I just rely on my good old friend, coffee. Or in which, when I was an omnivore, I definitely had to take pre-workout because I was just so tired all the time. The next question is from Char Lifter. Do you ever fast? No, not intentionally. Um, I only fast if, let's say, I forget to eat because I'm just so busy. Uh, the only times that I may, may maybe not try to eat is a few hours before um, I go to bed just because I feel that if I have a heavy meal before I go to bed, sometimes my body's so busy digesting that I actually don't get proper sleep and I, my body, I wake up tired from just my body trying to digest all the food. So the question is, the answer is no, I don't purposely try to fast. Um, hybrid underscore athlete, how many grams of protein do our body can, how many grams of protein our bodies can digest in every meal? Um, so that really depends, friend. Everybody's body is super different. Um, somebody that's 300 pounds needs more protein and can digest more protein than I can. I don't know how much I weigh, but I'm guessing I'm around 130, 135 right now. I'm a little bit swollen from New Year's festivities, and that'll go down. So, um, And the other thing that you have to think about is you're... Your 
body metabolizes differently throughout the day and based on the activity that you've had during that day. Our meta metabolisms tend to be most uh, the fastest during and after our workouts. So even during that time, you may need a little bit more protein than you would say, you know, not so close to your workout. And during our sleep, our bodies tend to metabolize a little bit or, or, or our bodies tend to just um, metabolize a little bit slower because we're in sleep mode. Um, depending on how long you sleep, do you have enough protein to consume? There, there are so many factors to it. So no, I don't know the answer to that, but as a very basic starting tip, if you haven't been tracking your protein, I would suggest somebody to start with 0.8 grams of protein for every pound of body weight you have. So to be really easy, if you're 100 pounds, 80 grams of protein for the entire day. And and then split that out evenly throughout your entire meals. That's very basic. I, I, If I were to coach somebody, the more that I would get to know them, I would completely customize their protein um, and macro, micro schedule. Eb underscore Ross, I'm vegetarian making the step to leave dairy products and I'm wondering if you have any and then the question cuts out. So my, I can take a guess on a couple of things and Eb underscore Ross, um, put it in the comments below if I've got it wrong, please. Um, I'm happy to address your question. Uh, I'm guessing maybe any tips on dairy or, or milk substitutes. My favorite is almond milk. My favorite brand is Blue Diamond. It's not chemically tasting. I always get the unsweetened ones because I sweeten everything with stevia because it doesn't uh, affect insulin levels. <laughs> um, they also have a good chocolate milk version. Uh, if I wasn't drinking Blue Diamond almond milk, just some things that I, other milks that I really like include coconut milk. You know, the one in the can, the full fat ones, but that's just too much fat for me to consume on a daily basis. I also like full fat cashew milk, but I don't do it on a normal basis because of the amount of fat in it. Uh, soy milk is also really delicious in my opinion. It has more protein, um, but it also comes with fat. Um, and I try, I try the reason I keep harping on fat, not because you don't need fat, you do need fat, but I'd rather consume my fat in the form of chewable cashews or chewable almonds, if that makes sense. Um, if your question was about cheeses, my favorite brand of cheese is Daya, D-A-I-Y-A. It melts really nice. I used to like a brand called Follow Your Heart, but then when you try to melt it, it just turned into oil. Hope that answered your question. If not, can you please clarify in the comments below? Um, do you, Clark5231, do you think it's possible to be a 250 pound power lifting vegan or not? Nah? That's about 500 grams of, I'm guessing you're saying protein. Absolutely. Like I'd mentioned earlier, Clark, uh, I feel stronger as a vegan. I can lift heavier. I progressively increase my weights quicker and more safely as a vegan than I did as an omnivore. It's just a matter of knowing where to get your protein from. So I'd really recommend you look at the playlist down below of like the food that I eat. Um, you know, some of the recipes that I have just of, you know, my source of protein. Because I also don't think it's a very healthy path if you do like, if you're, if you say you're vegan and you're doing like bagels for all of your carbs, right? Uh, and then getting all your protein from protein powder. There's a major benefit for you to get those vitamins and minerals through whole, less processed foods um, that help you out with your macronutrient absorption. Um, so that's it for the questions, guys. Thank you so much for submitting them. Um, if you have any other questions, put them in the comments below. If I haven't addressed something, put it in the comments below. If this kind of content is helpful for you, um, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, like up, da, da, da. If you want to see more content from this space, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell somewhere. I don't know what, where it is, but you can click it. Ding, 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 ding. If you're not already following me, guys, you can feel free to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. Um, and that's it, guys. I am not feeling well. So I'm going to go ahead and post this video. I probably won't do very many much editing to it. But know that I appreciate you. And anything that I post on any platform is only ever because you guys, um, I think it's helpful for you or you guys have requested it. So thank you so much for always rooting me on and um, helping me just know what content to give you guys. Alright guys, have a great day.
See ya.